I thought the Stanley 299 utility knife was going to be the find of the day. Then I spotted this gem. It's an S wing. I believe that's a 12 there for 12 ounce. The leather is tight. Looks to be in decent shape. Remnants of the old tag is still there. That ought to make a fun project. I started off cleaning up the sections of the head I didn't plan on sanding. First with the coarse wire wheel. and then the fine wire wheel. My coarse wire wheel has 12 thousandths diameter wires and the fine wire wheel has 6 thousandths diameter wires. Here's that center section after the coarse and fine wire wheel. I think I'm going to leave that in the as forged condition. I added some epoxy to this wire wheel where the wires go into the hub. I want to see if that helps keep the wires from flinging out as I use it. And that's just the pile of wires I picked out of my shirt. I'm going to have to say adding epoxy to the wire wheels doesn't help. Well, at least I can read the markings clear now. S-Wing, Rockford, Illinois. Patented. Made in USA. 12 ounce head. I do not know the significance of that D stamped between the, the two pins there. So here's this section of the handle before the coarse conditioning belt, and that's after the coarse conditioning belt. I think that's going to look okay. Look out! Watch it! Once again, the red label conditioning belts did an outstanding job. I like to do this ball end by hand. This is a piece of 150 grit that in the palm of my hand. And sort of cup it around the end of the hammer. I'm just going to go through the grits like that. It took me a little bit less than a half hour to sand through all the grits down to 600 and then use the maroon and the gray scotch bright. I think it came out pretty good. 
I treated the stacked leather handle like a piece of wood. I started sanding with 120 grit just to knock off any remaining factory clear coat. Here's one side before sanding, and here's the other side after the 120 grit. Here's the handle sanded down to 320. Feels nice and smooth. Okay, let me take you back to what the S-Wing 12 ounce ball peen hammer looked like when I brought it home from the yard sale. And here it is now. I finished the stacked leather handle with several coats of polyurethane, sanding with 320 between coats, and buffing with superfine steel wool after the final coat. Chuck and I used his favorite polish on the metal. I found an image of the original sticker online and made a water slide decal. This is white inkjet water slide decal paper. You print your image on the glossy side just like you would a photo. Once the images are printed and the ink has had time to dry, you have to use a clear coat to waterproof the decal. I added extra black around the border to avoid a white outline when I cut out the decal. I made sure the spot for the decal was clean. I added some water with a Q-tip to make it easier to position. After soaking in warm tap water, the decal slid off its backing paper easily. I rolled a Q-tip across the surface to push out any excess water. I'll leave an Amazon link in the description for the decal paper. Estwing is celebrating 100 years in business this year. Ernest Estwing was originally from Sweden. He established Estwing Manufacturing Company in 1923. Here's a 1925 ad announcing the new leather grip handle. I'll pin a link in the comments to a video showing how Estwing hammers are made. I was pretty excited when I found this S-Wing 12 ounce ball peen hammer with a stacked leather handle at the yard sale. It turned out to be a really fun project. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I printed out extra decals, so I put one on my 12-ounce claw hammer. Now they're a matching set.